Hey guys, first I want you to take a good look at this adorable cute panda bear. Because trust me, after you understand what I'm about to tell you, you're gonna need the peace and the chill that it brings. Here's the little problem here we have with Confi UI. And this is, this is insane. I didn't believe it myself, but it's true. This is the simplest SDXL workflow one can build. You have a resolution set, a checkpoint, a seed, two encoders, one positive, one negative, a latent image with a batch size of one. Remember that. Then you have a key sampler, then you have a decode and a preview. Really, it doesn't get simpler than that. But pay special attention to this. This is usually how we batch things. Now, you probably know that if you increase this number high enough, your VRAM will eventually exhaust itself and you will run out of VRAM. And so that's why you can do this and do a batch count. It's like running things in serial or running things in parallel. Right? Imagine your VRAM is an oven and the batch size here is how many cookies you cook at a time. And the batch count is how many trays of cookies you put in the oven each time. So if I put two and three, it will make six images, uh, two batches of three. So far you're with me? Yeah, I think everyone knows this. I think this is the simplest thing. Here's the thing that no one knows about. What if I told you, what if I told you that the case samplers, and I, I'm not kidding, by the way, I'm laughing because this I've spent three hours trying to understand this. What if I told you that the case samplers did not return the exact same image depending on the batch size, even though the latents are literally tensors with filled zeros. And you can check for yourself, put a beautify node after this, you'll see it's full of zeros. It, it, it truly is, I'm not lying. Uh, so here it is, here's the panda bear. Here's why the f there's a panda bear. If I duplicate this workflow with itself, if I essentially just add another batcher, right? So a batch size of two and a batch size of one. So we're creating how many? Three images, that's right. And for the sake of this example, we'll only display the first image and we'll pass it through image comparer by RG3 to see if there's any difference. Now, you can tell, right, that everything is wired up properly. I am not crazy. It's the exact same prompt. It's the exact same seed. The only difference is the batch size. That is truly the only difference. You would expect the two panda bears to be identical. And on first, on first glance, you know, in 1080p, they are identical until you zoom on it and you see what's happening here they're not identical in fact even the foliage behind it isn't identical so you're gonna say well okay that's a bit obscure Stefan but it's not really because now I'm gonna show you why this is a problem and I've raised it on github with the creator of Confi UI because truly I believe this could be improved so if you have a more complex workflow where you have similar similar structure but just more complicated right so you have your model loader with your LoRa's you have your prompt you over here you have your case sampler and then you know a bunch of stuff enabled disabled and maybe some noise injection okay uh, to make it look more dramatic right everyone loves a good piece of noise injection okay so if you wanted to use an image chooser you understand the problem the first batch was three image you pick two you're passing it to a second case sampler what's the outcome that you learned from mr panda bear what's the outcome that's right that's right the images are going to be different look and they are and quite a bit by the way this isn't a small difference this is this is a big deal so what's the conclusion don't do this don't use a, an image picker. I'm sorry for the creator of the image chooser, by the way. I think it's a great extension. I love it. I think it's such a good idea if we could do a pose in the middle like I'm doing here, right? You can even see it when it runs. It tells you it's paused and waiting for your input. You can even put an MP3 file with your voice saying, hey, you need to click some buttons. It's amazing, but it won't work because the proper way of using Confi UI is to never parallelize batch sizes and never break down your workflow into two separate parts where the batch size change. The only correct way to do it is to proceed with your workflow from beginning to end without stop every single time. And if you don't have enough VRAM, you must click the extra option button and change the batch count. And then you go on your hard drive and you check the images there. That's how you do it. And then you upscale them using Topaz, whatever, or you pass them back into a separate workflow if you don't own Topaz that just upscales all day long. So I hope you learned something today. 
uh, because I spent seven hours figuring this out. Seven hours. Yeah, that was painful. A painful learning lesson. And I have to give huge props to Data LT uh, as well as Dr. Pangloss on the Confi UI element chat who have kindly explained something to me, which I'll put on screen now. You guys take care. <music>